How's it going guys? Riley here with Dark Arrow. Quick tutorial on how to make a notched cut in a carbon fiber tube. You may have seen a notch cut like this before in welded tubular steel structures. It's also called a miter cut or a cope and it's a good cut to use if you want to intersect two tubes together. So this might be useful if you're building a drone or some sort of tubular structure. For me, I'm building the rudder pedals on the Dark Arrow 1. This cut looks a little crazy at first, but it's actually pretty easy to do if you have the right tools. So let's get into it. First up is safety. You're going to want safety glasses, hearing protection, respirator, and some gloves. The tools you're going to need for this project are a drill press with a tube holding fixture. I'll talk more about this later. A bunch of clamps, shot vac. You're going to want two bits, uh, both the same diameter as your carbon tube. So I've got a wood bit and a diamond bit. And these are both three quarter inch is what I'm working with. I mentioned the clamps already, some sandpaper, and then obviously a workbench so you have an area to work. First thing I'll talk about the drill press itself. This is just a really simple run of the mill, low cost drill press. Pretty common tool guys use for home built aircraft. Clamped on the table in my drill press, I have my little tube holding fixture which is just uh, three pieces of wood screwed together the base section of wood is cut out to the same footprint as the table on the drill press and then I have these two other sections that are spaced apart three quarters of an inch to match my piece of carbon fiber tube so they hold it nice and tight so it doesn't move laterally before I screw these three pieces of wood together I marked a center line on all of them and then line that center line up and that marks where the center position of the drill should go relative to the drill fixture. You can drill right down into the center of that center line with your wood bit so that it gives you a guide to position your diamond bit. See that? You can position your tube in your drill fixture and use those center lines to align your tube and that will line up with the center axis of the drill bit. So that's helpful if you're trying to make your notch and cut your tube to a specific length. It's good to know where the center line of your drill is relative to the end of your tube. A quick word about using this diamond bit. Uh, the reason this is the right tool for the job is when you're cutting carbon fiber you're actually basically grinding it down into dust rather than making chips like you would do when you're say cutting metal or wood. And then the speed that we're going to use I did a little trial and error with this, and uh, most of these drill presses have multiple speeds. I ran a uh, really slow speed with this, so um, 620 RPM is what I'm using for a 3 quarter inch diameter bit, which uh, based off this chart ends up being similar to aluminum cutting speeds. Okay, so I've talked through all that. I'm going to clamp my tube in place, and then we'll be able to drill it. Now I've got the tube securely clamped in the tube fixture have the end of the tube aligned with the center axis of the drill and the last thing I did was I clamped the shop back really close to the end of the drill bit so that I can collect any dust that I'm going to generate in the drilling operation. Let's do it. When you're drilling just plunge the drill straight through the tube using nice even steady pressure until you're all the way through. You can see how that diamond bit makes a nice gentle cut through the tube, but it still leaves a couple stray fibers at the edges of the cut. So I'm just gonna clean those up with some sandpaper. When you're sanding your tube to clean up the edges of the cut, you can clamp your shop vac right on the edge of your workbench and do your sanding right in front of the shop vac so that you're not getting dust everywhere. And I'm gonna be using 180 grit sandpaper to clean up these edges. So 
So there you go. That's the process to create a notch cut and a carbon fiber tube. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any ideas on how to improve this process, I'd also like to hear from you. Thanks for watching.